Welcome to Susanna Foam Cooking. Today I will make a Chinese spice brine that roasts the chicken. Spice brine is a very classical Chinese cooking technique. It has been used for many, many generations. By brining the chicken, it will improve the texture, the flavor, and the moisture retention of the chicken. In this recipe, we will use two tablespoons of Sichuan peppercorn, two pieces of cinnamon, four bay leaves, five to six star anise, one teaspoon of fennel, and a slice of ginger, and one four to five pound free range chicken, and four tablespoons of melted butter. I will use the twine to tie the chicken wings first. Then I will turn around and tie the chicken legs. This way it will make the chicken standing up and cooks better. In a large cast iron pot, I would add a cup of water, quarter cup of salt, two tablespoons of sugar. Then I would add four or five bay leaves, five six of star anise, two tablespoons of Sichuan peppercorn, two pieces of cinnamon, Oh, one teaspoon of fennel seeds. Then I add the ginger, and I bring to a boil, and then I would cover the pot and the simmer for about one hour. After the brine cool down, and you would just submerge the chicken into the brine, and uh, keep in the refrigerator at least for 12 to 24 hours. In the meantime, keep turning the chicken so the chicken will be fully brined. When it's finished, you take the chicken out and then you dry a little bit. Melt four ounces of butter and then brush the chicken. Because the chicken is cold, so when you brush the butter, the butter will stick to the chicken. And you should use all the butter until the chicken is completely covered with butter. Then you move the chicken into a roasting tray. It's back side up and roast it in the oven for 45 minutes at 350 degrees. Flip the chicken with breast side up and roast for another 45 minutes. Then use the thermometer to check the temperature should be about 165 to 170 degrees. Take the chicken out and rest the chicken for about 25, 30 minutes. The chicken will be cooled down and it will be easier to cut. The chicken should be very moist, very tender, and full of flavors. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download the recipe and description below. Happy and healthy cooking, and see you next time.